Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. And Show, what's going on, man? What is happening? Um, uh, I'm sick of this rain. I'm sick of this heat. But they kind of go hand on. in hand, don't they? Yeah, they do. And it's messed up. Yeah, it, it rained out what yesterday till about two o'clock in the afternoon. Messed up my whole workout schedule. You, man. I'm going to have to get my mutters out for my next run. Right. But, uh, you know, we're going to get into fitness a little bit later, too, because I want to talk about that. Um, You know, actually, let's go ahead and uh, work that now, because, you know, it, it since, since we brung it up, Let's see it through. Two things. All right. First and foremost, I see you on that change form, brother. Yes, You're out sir. There, you are getting it, and that's what it's all about. I am. Congrats, to you. Keep up the good work. I like what you're doing, and you may not know it, but you are inspiring several others. Good deal. Um. Now, what I want to know is, is it really hard work? Or are you on that oh. Ozempic? No, nah, I can't afford the Ozempic, brother. <laughs> that shit yeah. ain't cheap. That's the thing, man. Um, and, and trust me, if I was on the Ozempic, I'd probably be done walking because I would have already lost all the weight I needed to lose. Right? But here's the thing. People don't seem to understand. There's a price to be paid with that. And I'm not just talking about how expensive it is. I'm talking about what it will do to your body in the long run. What happens when you get off of it? Um, there are no sort. There are no shortcuts. There just aren't. Um, what's that saying? You didn't gain the weight overnight, so don't expect to lose it overnight. And true, but we as an Americans, yeah, are bred are bred nowadays, and hell, I mean even in our generation to get the fast thing, you know, once, you know, I, I need, I need to get confirmation ASAP. Yes. Which is why in America, why diets and the fads and things like that don't last because, you know, you get your results quick, but in the long term, they don't, they don't stay. And that's one of the things about Ozempic. And I'm just using Ozempic as an example, because there are several other, drugs and medications that people take either specifically to lose weight or just like Ozempic because that side effect is rapid weight loss they'll they'll throw it down um and this one Ozempic I blame on the celebrities because that's where it started from mm -hmm. you know celebrities doing it and when you see your favorite star done slimmed down because they were on his Ozempic for a couple months your team you you, you, you tend to Say, oh well, let me just uh, talk to my doctor right now. And yeah, they had to do rapid, you know, slim down for a roll or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and don't be fooled either about these uh, celebrities that rapidly bulk up for rolls either. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you want to talk about the Rock, who's been working out all his life? I get it, and he's on gear. Don't be fooled. He's my age. And he's still that big, so don't be fooled. Um, now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with losing weight that way or gaining weight that way, but to me, it's just you're, you're cheating yourself if you go for the shortcut. Uh, you work hard at it, you make it a lifestyle, and you reap the rewards and you feel better about yourself when you do the accomplishment. Agree. Now, I'm not against somebody getting kickstarted. Yeah. You know, yeah. but not to, because like you threw at The Rock, The Rock's not, I mean, I'm sure he is helping himself medicinally, but mm -hmm. I mean, the man, he, he's worked out his entire life. So he, he's already in that lifestyle. Yeah. And, and the other, that thing would I be, a, to me, that would be a bad, that would be a bad, uh, Example, a good example to me would be like Chris, Chris Evans, the dude who plays Captain America mm -hmm. or, 
the dude that plays Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Now, I will Those say this for things. The Rock. That is his brand. That's how he sells himself. That That's how he came into the game. And, he, you know, you can even see from movie to movie how he changes it up a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I get that. Uh, plus, it, any of these stars, if you're getting paid multi-million dollars to do a role, and whether you get the part depends on whether or not you can make the weight, either plus or minus. Yeah, I'd do it too. I would do it too. I'm not even in a heartbeat. Lie. I mean, they've got doctors, they've got chefs. So, you know, they're not uh, they're not doing anything that none of us little people would do if we were given that situation. But yeah, had the same you know, we scenario. Just have to we be do very it too. wary. Because we don't have the tools that they have. And it can be, there's a fine line between use and abuse. I'll just leave it at that. Agree. Agree. Okay. Definitely agree. <clears throat> Before we segue out of here, I do want to know what y'all think about, you know, this and what would, how far would you go to uh, change your body and what would you use? If you knew you could get away with it and nobody would know, leave us a comment. Uh, if you can, and you're on YouTube, leave it there. If you're not, hit us up at uh, the slightly warped podcast at yahoo.com. All right. And, you know, I also want to say, too, that, you know, for those out there that are struggling to get started or keep started, mm-hmm. you need like the change group that you had on fa- that you made on Facebook or whatever holding having people hold you accountable is huge um like my accountability partner you know is not just my wife but my sister also she checks in on me daily you know so we text back and forth each other's results we compete against each other um that type of thing so you know if you can find a partner couple people, a couple friends that'll hold you accountable, which, you know, on the day that you didn't quite get done what you want to get done, they're not going to kick you in the nuts for it, you know, but they're going to say, okay, you know, tomorrow get back on track, you know, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you three or four days and you're not doing what you're supposed to do, then yeah, they're going to kick you in the nuts, but that's, that's, that's what they're for. Um, You know, my thing right now is I'm on a roll. I don't want to stop. Like my body tells me, my body tells me I want to stop. But like I said in that post the other day, you know, I was always taught that, you know, your body's a terrorist. You don't listen to it. No, we don't negotiate with terrorists. This is the United States. That's right. You don't listen to it. So uh, I just keep, you know, like yesterday, I couldn't get out there till 6 30, 7 o'clock at night. I usually, I'm usually up and walking by 6 a.m. So it's just like, you know, and then this morning I had just done it less than 12 hours before. So now I'm like back out there. My body's like, are you freaking kidding me? But, you know, just push through it. So, hey, you know, if you guys are listening and you're not familiar with what we're talking about, the change group, if you go to Facebook and look up change and, and that's the name of the group, I'll post it on here too. get in there, get in there. It's for everybody. It is not for, you know, high profile athletes or whatever. It's us the regular common folk who just want to get in a better shape whether it be physically mentally or some strange combination of the two like myself all right show transgender runner nikki hiltz she won the 1500 meter uh women's race for the olympic trials a couple days ago i believe Mm -hmm. it was the last day of june uh Mm -hmm. whenever the trials ended and full disclosure, Nikki is a woman. So when I say transgender, she's not a man pretending to be a woman or feeling like a woman or however you want to put it. She is a woman who ran in the women's race. So let's that be clear. However, she identifies as non-binary. Okay. Does that pose a problem either now or in the future for the Olympic sport or any sport in general. And keep in mind, the Olympic guidelines say specifically right now, 
the gender that you were born as is the gender that you will compete as. Period. Now, I know other sports don't do that, but the Olympics has that set. What other sports don't do that? Um... Well, in particularly, um, if I'm correct, not Olympic swimming, but there are swimming competitions where I've seen a male who now identifies as a female has been participating. So it's not the, is it the IOC, so the like, Olympic Committee? So like like so a collegiate or, or yes, a high school be, type thing? Or That's it could be different. just a different yeah. committee, yeah. Yeah, I don't care about them. They ain't nobody. Those, <laughs> those athletes aren't doing anything. I mean, you know, um, but do I see a problem with this chick? No. I mean, because as long as she was born a female, she can identify as a chicken. I don't give a crap. Uh, but as long as they keep, you know, it, you know, the XY chromosomes competing against the XY chromosomes, then, then, then that's how it needs to be. Hey, and then if they I ever know. if they ever let a transgender male who identifies as a female compete in the female portion of any sport um olympic professional whatever it, it'd be a travesty now now when you say it'll be a travesty uh what what if they're able to compete at a high level and i'm gonna move away from the olympic prime, exa use prime example mm -hmm. prime example NBA All Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. You had you had what's the chick that that uh, the white girl that just got drafted by the WNBA Caitlin won the Clark. championship. Caitlin Clark. It was her versus Seth Curry or Steph mm -hmm. Curry in a three point competition because they're both. She's like the she's the female version of Larry Bird. I mean she she'd be shooting them all over the court. Right. Steph, Steph killed her, destroyed her, yeah. wasn't even close. Now, she, in the three-point competition, the other players that were there, they were, their low scores were 25, 26 points in that two minute or whatever, how many minutes that they give you. Yeah. She got, she got 25 or 26 in her shootout against Steph, but he got like almost 40. It, they're just physically more gifted than a than a female no matter how many times she exercises can would would she be able to beat some males yes but i would tend to think and this might be just my closed-mindedness uh old man philosophy um that that a male would end up winning against 99 percent of the women on the majority nine times out of ten you know a woman you know like even a broke clock is right twice a day right mm -hmm. so you know even the best female athlete can beat male athletes but i go back to the 12 year old soccer team men's boys soccer team that beat the olympic soccer team women's soccer team a few years back destroyed them you know okay. so there this is first i heard of that it's 12 or 14 year olds uh, it was a young kid, young boys, and they just destroyed. May not have been the Olympic, but it's professional female soccer team. Just kicked their butts up and down the field. Hmm. Um, so there is genetically, men are designed to be stronger, faster. Now, let me ask you this: What about a female kicker on an NFL team? Just a kicker. She just goes out there. She trots out there and kicks field goals. I, am I okay with it? Of course I'm okay with it. But where is the mindset going to be when said female kicker gets rushed and the blocker breaks her leg on accident? Mm. It wouldn't be that it wouldn't be that big a deal now if I, you know, with the guy it's part of the game. But if it happened to the female kicking the ball, what would happen? Or what would the outcry be? Fair enough. That's a good point. Yeah, because that is it's no it different standpoint. It's kind of no different than the military. I mean, I know it is now, but they didn't want women on the battlefield because 
men's uh, core, you know, core being is to protect the females. And so if you saw a female shot on the side of the, out in the battlefield, you, you would hesitate, which could then put your life and your friend's lives in danger. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's kind of, you know, we do it without even thinking about it. It's kind of just like in our DNA. Okay. I like that. I like that. But going exactly. back with it, but going back with the chick with the binary, who cares? She's still a female. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And all, and I will. They don't change those rules or relax. I agree. Them anyway. And I will say this, and I will look into the camera. Every one of those Olympic female women could outrace me. Oh, hey, who are you telling? Me too. I'm they just saying. Dust me. First of all, it's 1,500 meters at full speed. That's almost a whole damn mile. Not at full speed, not me. I don't. Like I didn't see age, them. I mean, they, years they, ago, they kind of looked like they were jogging for a while, and then you know that last lap and a half. That's when they kicked it in. Well, you know what though? I've done it before, and it does look <laughs> slow at the beginning because you're trying to conserve, but it still takes a lot out of you. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, and and, and hell, running the mile that was back at high school level. I'm 54 years old. You know, I ain't done it since then. So, <laughs> yes, I've run 5Ks, 10Ks, and half marathons, but I don't do them full speed the whole way in the end. Heck no. I mean, I love to run, but I'm trying not to get a heart attack, too. Exactly. I want to live. <laughs> I want to live. <laughs> Hey, and congratulations anyway to Nikki and, you know, props to her for making the Olympic team. Uh, I support everybody on the team, Team USA. Go for it. I hope y'all win every event. Let's talk about football again. I know this is the deviating from it, but uh, was it? Uh, you, you're going to talk about the it, American football team? Yeah. Did they get beat by Japan? Is that what it was? They got beat by Japan and then 40. in the Bronx. And then the bronze medal game, they got beat by Austria. Ooh. Who did we have on this team? I mean, was it some brothers I, from I, around I think, the corner? I think they were probably, uh, you know, USFL players. I mean, that, that type of, you know, type of talent. Wow. I mean, because... They're not putting a dream team together because no NFL team is going to let you take, you know, the Chiefs are going to let Patrick Mahomes go over there and play for the Olympics. It's not the NBA. I'm glad you mentioned that, too, because of the fear factor of getting them hurt, which eliminated my question because I would have been like, why can't we roll a college team out like that? But again, same again, there's too they're, much, they're trying too to much drafted. money. Right. Yeah. And there's too much money in the college, you know. To to do that as well. I mean, could you see Dion letting his son go over there and play? No. Oh no no. Dion's he's got too much riding to in Colorado. Well, not only that, but just you know, he's a draw for Colorado, which brings money. You know, yeah. the TVs and all that. So no. I so mean, it's definitely. I can it see could be, Shador there, watching with the rest. of Yeah. Us. I mean, it's you know, it's probably I would say semi pro guys. Um, that type of thing, you know, and maybe those, I don't know, maybe because those other countries maybe don't have a professional league that they were able to put you know, professional be, caliber players on there. I would be surprised if, if they do, because, you know, the NFL for the last several years has been marketing uh, outside of the United States. So I'm pretty sure well, that. Yeah, that's just to get growing. fans. <clears throat> but I don't think they're having that they have a league. Well, I do know what uh, Ukraine does. Ukraine has, I think, a two or three, four team league because mm. their players were also military guys mm. um, that went to the war against Russia. But, you know, for the most part, I think it's just kind of building the brand type of thing. Yeah. As in, you don't like, I, I don't see, and I could be wrong. I mean, evidently they do. Japan has a team. Austria has a team. I'm sure. I, evidently, maybe I'm just talking outside of my butt, but evidently they do have, have that over there. Because you're right. NFL has been trying to 
expand. I mean, although I don't ever see an NFL team being in London or Germany or anything like that, the logistics would be a nightmare. Oh, God, no. Not for a 17-game schedule? Oh, wow. It'd be a nightmare. And imagine going over there for the playoffs. Ooh, that, yeah, that's almost unfair. When right. You talk home field. Jet lag is one thing, but jet lag. Yeah, oh, you'd man. have to you'd have to be over there for a week or so, and that would I don't even think that would help. Mm -mm. I I couldn't. Mm -mm. And and you know the losing team, the coach would be complaining for weeks, and it would yeah. become another issue. I mean, if Buffalo can cry about the Kansas City loss and get the playoff format changed, you know, it would they would change this too. But but you know I think that was I think the Buffalo game that was that was just kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back because if you went a couple years earlier when we played uh, New England in the mm -hmm. AFC Championship game I think it was 2018 scenario was the same you know the Patriots got the ball and never gave it back to Kansas City and they were able to go play LA in the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, but if you think about it, what's the old adage? I think that, if you want to win, score more points. If they have the ball last, stop them. That's different, though. In overtime, it's different because if I was behind, I did score enough points to continue the game. Mm -hmm. so, so now I don't have a shot to do anything. Yeah, I I'm being I'm getting punished because we went on a roll and we were able to match these guys tit for tat and, and tie the game at the end of the I get the point. But I, I don't think it was just Buffalo complaining about it. I, I just think that was kind of like in the NFL. That's, well, you know, we had one a few years ago. And now this one, we don't want to continue to have it like that. So this makes it a little bit more interesting. Well, let Which, this. You let's like go back to the Super Bowl playoff? last year. Let's go back to the Super Bowl last year. Mm -hmm. That was actually nice, you know, because the uh, 49ers had the ball first. And then we got it and we was able to score. So both teams got a chance. Yeah. Let me ask you, do you like that NFL rule where you just kick off to each other? Or do you prefer the college rule where, hey, put it on the, uh, what would they put on the 25 or the 35? I would love for it to be the college rule. Is there a specific think, reason why you like that better? I think it is more entertaining. And for one, there's no time limit. Okay, oh, so you don't have to worry about the clock. You just have to worry about the play clock. But if I'm on defense, okay, and the other team scores, I get a chance to score. I score. I immediately get the ball right again to try to score again. So it's basically you get two back-to-back -back possessions. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, but it can go, what I like about the college, you got overtime, you have double overtime, and then it becomes – the next team to win, play yeah, or score death. wins, basically. I like that format. I think it's more entertaining. Okay, but I, I I'm not mad at the at the at the NFL the way they do it, except with the fact that because even I didn't realize uh, during the Super Bowl, like when I'm like call a timeout, I didn't realize that that would just. That was just the first quarter of overtime. I didn't realize that it was like that. I thought you just I, had. I didn't realize that either. I, one you know, fifteen you heard minute about the change in the main yeah. part of the rule, but I didn't really realize the time change too. The the Chiefs knew, and that's all that mattered. Ah, oh, yeah, them people. Okay, um, switching gears to entertainment. Two things I want to talk about first. We need to go on here while it's fresh in my mind. The, the Superman suit. Okay, I'm. I'm and and I'm I don't have any skin in this game. I'm a Marvel guy, but I do like some of the stuff that DC has done. Very little, but some of it. Um, I grew up in the Christopher Reeve era, the comic book accurate suit. I love Henry Cavill's suit, which yes, a lot of people didn't like it because it was darker and it was moody looking and all this. But he had the physique, with a little help from you know what they put under the suit. Um. The photos of David Cornsweat came out. And I, I, I got to say, show, I was not impressed at first. When that one where he was putting his boots on, that came I'm, out. I'm, 
Oh, yeah. I was looking it up as you were saying that. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, this image is also on the set, and it looks a little better. Uh, I was worried about all the creases and the wrinkles in the first uh, in the first picture, because uh, I was wondering if they gave him a suit that was two sizes too big. You know, I'm I'm thinking that you want your Superman to be his physique to be accentuated by the uh, by the suit itself. So I've heard people say one thing or the other about it and like i like this one or i like that one again i got no skin in the game um at first it did look like cosplay superman this image here looks a little bit better this one here i was slightly worried about there's some creasing in the elbow and um it looks like in the ab area but one thing that uh eased my mind I was online and I looked back at some pictures of Chadwick Boseman in the Black Panther suit. And mm -hmm. it was a very baggy suit. And they cleaned that up with uh, special effects in post-production before the movie came out. And they said it was to help the actor with ease of movement. Now, I don't know how true that is or not, uh, but if James Gunn does something similar here, to accentuate Superman, because Superman's supposed to be a big guy. He shouldn't be, you know, just a few pounds heavier than me. And and I've seen some pictures of David Cornsweet in the gym too. He's pretty jacked though. It, it I just wanted to yeah, I mean, that way. But you know, this the guy that played Superman in Smallville, he wasn't big. True. So or even the dude that played Lois Clark and Lois, that Superman, he that was he wasn't big dude either. Yeah. I mean I I don't I mean I think what they did is they kind of just did a they squished uh Cavill's suit with uh the original Superman, Christopher yeah, the Reeves. Original colors. Well well no, because his suit is well, it looks darker blue closer to Cavill's but the new suit that Ross has here is he still has the red draws and the yellow utility belt the yeah. S is kind of wonky I don't like that S yeah I'm not crazy about that either and I know people nowadays say it's the symbol that means hope no it's an S it started off an S it's always going to be an yeah. S yeah I mean that's what Cavill Superman said it was hope but, but it was still an S yeah um, which is why they named him Superman. Uh, right. But if I had to grade it like right now, I'd probably give it a D, C minus. Yeah, C minus is probably about where I would go with it for sure. Um, I need to see a lot more, and I'm hoping in the coming months we get some. Uh, better set images where do you guys yeah, stand I, on this leave us a comment I, and let us know go ahead show i'm just i'm just upset that cavill's not superman anymore agreed <clears throat> now we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes of the star wars land Episode there we go five of the acolyte and for the first time in a long time as far as this show is concerned I had very little problems with the episode. It was paced a lot better. It had the action that we've been looking for. Um, Yeah, there were some head scratchers, but at least I can go into episode six knowing that there's a chance that this show can redeem itself. Did you like it, show? I, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, Obviously, I told you if the reveal was what the actual reveal was, I would not be happy. Still not happy about that particular reveal. I mean, um, they made it I so blatantly obvious to me. They did, but I just don't like, I mean, for one, these Jedis that are on this planet must have very little uh, ability in the Force. For right. this one guy 
to completely put the cloud on them that they didn't know who he was, didn't have any sense, didn't have no intuition. Um, I mean, because even if you go back to the the episode one, two, and three of the movies, the saga, all the big jets, Mace Windu, Yoda, they all knew that something was there. They just couldn't put their finger on it. Yes. They knew there was something there, and they all questioned Palpatine. They all questioned him. They just didn't have no proof. There was just something about him that just... I mean, it was you know, to made... the point where they told Anakin to spy on him. So they Exactly. Knew. Exactly. Um, so that was my big disappointment with that, is that this guy was is incredibly super powerful and able to fend off the majority of the Jedi... The fight scenes were phenomenal. I was really impressed. Uh, I now, did like I all the lightsaber one duels. Area where you were right, ain't nobody coming out of this alive. No. Nah. Uh, obviously, dude got his neck snapped. Jackie got three holes punched in her. Um, we already knew. And that's another there. thing. This guy's so powerful. This this Darth Stranger, or whatever his name is. Okay. Mm -hmm. He he's he's so powerful that he was able. To fight off all of these Jedi's and do a do, but the Padawan held her own against him in a one on one lightsaber duel. Yes. I mean, come on now. Palpatine would have destroyed, Vader would have destroyed a Padawan. I mean, Vader wouldn't even use his lightsaber. Nah, he'd just crush the Dalarinix and be done with it. Pretty you know? much. Uh, but here's a theory that I read this week that I thought. If they go down this line, it would actually connect the dots for episode seven, eight, and nine movies. Because this guy said that he, he's not a Sith. He said he's what some Jedis like you might call a Sith. Okay. So they were talking about this is the first night of Ren. Okay, I could see that. And if, if they do that, right. If you look at his helmet, it kind of looks like Kylo's helmet. Yeah, but I can't take it seriously with that. And and brand. and the and the other guys that were that you see, I think is episode is it episode seven or episode eight that we actually see the Knights of Ren, the big uh, the, well, the, the group of they, them. They make their debut in episode seven, but we see them all fight when they're fighting Kylo in episode nine. Right, but no, was it seven or eight when they were chasing old dude in that city? Oh. They were chasing him down. Kylo was leading them, and they were they were. It was the 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 pilot guy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that was that was uh, seven, wasn't it? Uh, that's why I don't remember which one because you know they're they're all three forgettable. But yeah. I couldn't. It, it was re seven because remember. I think the uh, whole. Alliance was on the run and running out of fuel in episode eight. So that's kind of, I thought that was a neat, a nice little theory. My other theory just by watching it is, um, what's the, what's the head Jedi dude that's in this Asian guy? Saul. He's, he's not a good Jedi. Why do you say that? Just, just things that everybody said toward him, towards it. But the the stranger, once he took his helmet off, and and so he recognized him. He just didn't say it. Mm, so you think he's holding something back? Yes, like maybe teacher student. Maybe this is maybe they are Sith, and he is the bad. I mean, I don't know. I know it's a stretch, but I I, I don't I, I, I don't, feel like you're I, right, but not just about that. How come he doesn't recognize May? Who the bad guy? Saul. They're on board a ship together now. Oh, that's right, because she took May's clothes. Now, granted, yes, she chopped her her bangs. But but she's got Saul the thing on her the forehead. forehead. Just gives her forehead a little look. He should be able to see the scar. 
Unless now, she's covered it up somehow. That that tracker animal dude, I think he knows something's up. So we'll see if uh Yeah, he, he knew that wasn't her. Now we'll we'll see if he's he mentions it or if something happens, you know. The stranger knew it wasn't that it was May, though, that I was on the ground. He did know that. Oh, on the no, uh May's sister's the one that's on the ground. The no, good no. That's her name. May is the good one. No, May is the bad one. Oshi is the good one. I thought Oshi was the bad one. No, May is the bad one. Okay, so he knew that Oshi was on the ground. He knew that. Yeah. yeah. And, but Which, he's, he's trying to cr turn her now. So that's going to Oh, be yeah. I'm sure he will. Yeah. Or try to. Yeah. I'm. Maybe we can get a May and Oshi lightsaber duel at the end of this thing. Maybe, but Oshi would have to learn how to use a lightsaber. Well, she was an apprentice before. She just got to learn it only all over. That's it, only for like a year or so. Nah, that's true. Um, but I was, I really don't have an idea where it's going to go from here, honestly. But I was impressed with episode five did kind of save the series for me. Except for having that guy be the bad guy. Yeah. Now, they, they need to finish strong. I will say that. They need to finish strong. And we will be back next uh, week with episode six's review. And either they're going to still be trending in the right direction or we're going to be back where we were last week. Yes, sir. All right, show before we get out of here, you got anything you want to add? Uh, no, no. I think that's it. All Besides, right, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell at the top so you know when my man puts our stuff online. And uh, you know, before I get out of here, I'm sure he'll end it, but hug somebody, let them know you love them. Because as we know, tomorrow is not promised. Definitely not. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.